Hello, I'm Chris Ignacio, and today we'll be talking about the analysis and simulate optimization of a study of romance using a system of differential equations. Basically, this whole entire thing is based off of famous characters from TV shows and movies, and Hollywood characters, based on their relationships. It's about how we could use equations to determine the most likely outcome of a relationship and its trend. <coughs> For instance, the given values and variables, you can, you can closely find out how a relationship will be from its beginning to end. The equations used would be these. The x variable represents the effect of the male's feelings, while the y represents the effect of the female's feelings. Uh, the parameter a is the representation of how the male is encouraged by his own feelings, while b is how his feelings are affected by the females. The next parameters c and d are similar, but they are the representation of the female's feelings this time. Given the parameters, the trend of the relationship can be both based off of these differential equations. These two are examples of the different models of what we could find out from the <clears throat> relationship between the two characters. For example, this is what we found out for Ross and Rachel, which has both positive and then start with an initial negative. <clears throat> I'll quickly discuss that in the next one. These are the results. Um, <clears throat> given the initial ver uh, parameters for Ross and Rachel, uh, each of these parameters uh, represents their feelings. For parameter A, it represented an initial love for Rachel, and D represents Rachel's initial disinterest in Ross. At the end of this relationship, it shows how like it starts off stagnant, but eventually it goes off long-lasting and their love exponentially grows. Between Ron, Swanson, and Tammy, uh, they both have a strong disinterest in one another but at the same time this allows them to love one another heavily at the same time it's like a love-hate relationship so but the negative numbers is like a disliking such hatred within the relationship which is why you see a downward trend on this time they both feed off each other's negative feelings towards one another which makes them a good couple in the long run that'd be all thank you